Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Onslaught, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your stream element tipping page and all of its unique features. Let's get right to it. The first thing we have is the tipping page title. Of course, this is straightforward. It's the title of your tipping page. The second thing we have is the PayPal email. You've got to make sure to enter in your PayPal email correctly because that's where all the tips will be redirected to. Now the currency is the currency matching your PayPal. I keep mine as USD to keep things simple. Keep in mind that if you set your currency to something different than your PayPal, you'll have to deal with conversion rates. And here's the best part. If you use Stream Elements tipping service, it is 100% free. Stream Elements takes no cut from any money you earn. The next thing we have is the minimum amount. You can set this to whatever you'd like. You just have to remember that your viewers will not be able to tip under this amount. The suggested amount is just a placeholder amount that can be viewed right here. It's just a little grayed out number right here. Now going back to force users to log in. This is actually a method to prevent fraud and just chargebacks on your account. It forces people to log into their Twitch account to make sure that it's a real account. Now this is where it gets interesting. Tipping presets. This is a unique stream elements feature that is proven to increase tips significantly. Now you might be wondering how it works. Let me show you. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn on the tipping presets. Now these are all the default ones, you can change them, you can alter them to whatever you'd like. And let's make one together right now. I want to make one for $6.66. Now if I wanted to go ahead and make a custom alert for that 666, you could do so in the overlay manager. There will be more information on how to do so in the video. Now let's head over to my tipping page. Let's say I click once and then I want to donate 666 for that custom alert and go ahead and tip Onslaught. That would be tipping in just three clicks. It's so much faster and it's great for mobile users as well. Now moving on to donation memo. You can set this to whatever you'd like. I have mine set to you have a nice butt with the user's name just to make them giggle whenever they're tipping me. It's also very important to have a good looking tipping page because it increases the chance of you being tipped. Like mine, it looks simple but yet professional. Now that we're all done with that, we can go ahead and copy our link to our donation page, go to our Twitch profile, scroll down just a tiny bit, and go ahead and put it in our panels. Go ahead and turn on the edit panels. I put it on my image links too. There you go, put it right there. You can also put it in your description. I just like to leave it on the panel itself. Hit submit, and then when you're done, you'll be able to click the, uh, the panel and it goes directly to the Stream Elements tipping page. Also, if you're using the Stream Elements bot, which you should be, it automatically answers to the exclamation point tip command. It'll go ahead and link your tip page in the chat. Heading back to our tipping page settings, here we have a tab for tip moderation. You can go ahead and turn this on and the, the donations will still go through, but the messages will keep pending and then mods can choose and pick which ones are friendly enough to be shown on the screen. Now we also have the leaderboards, you could turn it on just to uh, have competition between your viewers to see who can have the top donations. Last but not least, here's a quick little preview of what the leaderboard looks like. Thank you guys for watching, that's all my time for today. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces, I'm out of here.